Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss about the multiple choice questions based on water technology. The hardness of water is caused by hardness of water is mainly due to the presence of dissolved salts of calcium and magnesium. The exhausted geolite bed can be regenerated by washing with geolite bed generally contains sodium ions and it is capable of exchanging its sodium ions with calcium and magnesium ions present in the hard water. So the exhausted geolite bed can be regenerated by washing with sodium chloride solution. Hardness of water is expressed in terms of calcium carbonate equivalents. Since calcium carbonate is the most insoluble salt in water and its molecular weight is 100 which makes calculations easy. The cation exchange resin possesses. In general a cation exchange resin is capable of exchanging its H plus ions with calcium and magnesium ions present in the hard water. So cation exchange resin possesses acidic group. Ozone acts as bleaching agent by the following produced by it. So whenever if we consider ozone it dissociates into oxygen with the liberation of nascent oxygen. So nascent oxygen acts as the bleaching agent. It is also known as atomic oxygen. Chemicals present in boiler scales are whenever water is continuously boiled in boilers then slowly the carbonates of calcium and magnesium will precipitate out in the form of scales. So the boiler scales mainly contains calcium carbonate and magnesium carbonate. The ion absent in permitted generally permitted contains sodium, aluminium and silica ions. So the calcium ions are absent in permitted. Clear students? The ion absent in exhausted permitted is permitted is exhausted means all the sodium ions present in the geolite are replaced by the calcium and magnesium ions. So exhausted permitted will not contain sodium ions. Anion exchange resin is regenerated by adding. Anion exchange resin is capable of exchanging its OH- ions with anions present in the hard water. So whenever it is exhausted, it can be regenerated by adding sodium hydroxide. So the exhausted anion exchange resin can be regenerated by adding sodium hydroxide. Which of the following is used as coagulant in the purification of water? During the purification of water, they use potash alum for the coagulation. So potassium alum is used as coagulant in the purification of water. The plant roots absorb water by through osmosis, the plant roots absorb water. Which of the following compound is used as sterilizing agent in the municipal treatment of water? Generally, for the sterilization, sterilization of municipal water, they use bleaching powder. 
so bleaching powder is used for the sterilization of municipal water treatment which of the following cannot be used for the sterilization of drinking water so sterilization of drinking water can be done either by using ozone or bleaching powder even chlorine water so potassium chloride is not used for the sterilization of drinking water a water sample contains 1.20 mg per liter of magnesium sulfate then its hardness in terms of calcium carbonate equivalent is so hardness of water can be calculated by using the formula weight by gram molecular weight into 100 so here the weight of magnesium sulfate is 1.20 its gram molecular weight is 120 into 100 so it is equal to 1 ppm so in this case 1.0 ppm is the right option in this video i would like to give a small suggestion at the end which disinfectant does not produce irritating odor to the water so we will use different sterilizing agents but whenever chloramine is used it will not produce any irritating odor to the water disinfection is the process used to remove through disinfection the pathogenic bacteria will be removed from the water sterilization of water by chlorine is more effective when water has ph so if the water is having ph between 5 to 6.5 then the chlorination process is effective so in this case the ph is supposed to be maintained below 6.5 which chemical is responsible for temporary hardness of water in general temporary hardness is caused by the bicarbonates of calcium and magnesium so calcium bicarbonate is the right option which chemical is responsible for permanent hardness of water permanent hardness is generally caused by the chlorides and sulfates of calcium and magnesium so option b is the right answer so magnesium chloride is responsible for permanent hardness of water permitted is chemically s yes. permitted or zeolite is chemically named as hydrated sodium aluminum silicate so what is permitted it is hydrated sodium aluminum silicate clear students water having large amounts of dissolved salts is so which of the following water contains greater amounts of dissolved salts sea water contains greater amounts of dissolved salts clear students in edta method the color at end point is edta method is generally used for the estimation of total hardness of the water so in that process ereochrome black tea is used as the indicator at the end point blue color appears hardness of water is due to hardness of water is due to the presence of dissolved salts of calcium and magnesium in clark's process the following is removed clark's process is used for the removal of temporary hardness 
द बफर यूज इन ए डी टी ए मेथड इज ए मिक्सर ऑफ ए डी टी ए मेथड इज एफेक्टिव इफ द पी एच इज मेंटेन्ड एट टेन दैट मीन्स अमोनिकल बफर इज प्रिफर्ड एंड इट इज ए मिक्सर ऑफ अमोनियम हाइड्रोक्साइड एंड अमोनियम क्लोराइड If hundred mL of water requires five mL of zero point zero five normal EDTA, its hardness is. So for the calculation of hardness, we are having the formula. Total hardness is equal to normality of EDTA into volume of EDTA into equivalent weight of calcium carbonate that is fifty. Divided by volume of water into thousand. That is equal to zero point zero five into five into fifty divided by hundred into thousand, and it is equal to one twenty five. mg per liter so option c is the right answer method used to remove permanent hardness of water is permanent of permanent hardness of water can be removed by using ion exchange method the permissible turbidity in mg per liter for drinking water is drinking water should contain turbidity only up to 10 ppm so drinking water is supposed to contain turbidity less than 10 ppm or 10 mg per liter so in this case 2.5 to 10 is the right answer clear students Which of the following group of ions makes the water hard? Generally, the hardness of water is due to bicarbonates, chlorides, and sulfates of calcium and magnesium. So, in this case, magnesium and sulfate are responsible for the hardness of water. In geolite process, cations are exchanged by In geolite process, the cations are exchanged by sodium ions. Coming to the test questions, during chlorination of drinking water, removal of bacteria takes place due to which of the following chemical? Coming to the second question, municipal water treatment does not involve. which of the following process finally i would like to conclude the video by giving a small suggestion don't depend too much on anyone in this world because even your own shadow leaves you when you are in dark that means if you want to achieve greatest success in your life first of all you are supposed to identify what are your abilities and strengthen them with your smart work that is the only way to reach highest position in your life if you like the video don't forget to like share and subscribe thanks for watching have a nice day